You know, fall is the time for kettle corn. I'm gonna show you three flavors that we are doing this weekend, the bag size, and why we are doing it this way. So let's get into it. So the three flavors that we have this weekend are traditional apple pie kettle corn and red hot cinnamon. And this bag size we are using is just wonderful for, for many reasons. So this is our apple pie. I'll get into the flavor and how it's done. But this bag, I don't even know if you can tell. Like this is eight by 30. And what, what do you got? Like a dollar 50 into this and you're selling it anywhere from eight to 12 dollars. Now this eight by 30 bag. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. The reason why we love it so much, number one, is the incredible presentation that it gives when it's sitting out. When you see something of this size and at a price tag of anywhere between eight and $12, people just flock to it. They absolutely love it. And we'll have smaller bags and these big bags and they will pick these up over a two to one margin over our smaller bag. So, you know, it almost makes you wanna just sell this size. And you know, when you see a little kid carrying this eight by 30 bag, it's almost as big as they are. I mean, this thing is as big as my arm. Like how massive it is. And I don't know if the camera is doing it justice, but the eight by 30 bag is an incredible presentation. Look, it's super skinny, okay? And, uh, and it's so long that when people carry this around, everyone at the event, whatever it is, wants to know where they got it from. And it's just great advertising for your business to have this massive bag being carried around by your customers. Now. I want to get into a couple things here. I got three flavors I want to show you. Um, you saw this one, and we'll get into more of the apple pie and how we do it and the flavor combinations that come with it. Well, first, you got to have tradition, right? You know, this is our number one seller, bar none, and I imagine that's the way for most people. Now, we use twist ties. We used to use tape seal and, and other methods. Guys, for us, twist ties are just the way to go. It's super easy, simple. You don't have the tape ripping off on you. And, you know, so for us, we just kept it simple, went back to twist ties. We did twist, tie, twist ties when we first started years ago, and then went with the tape and, and a couple other methods. And now we're back to the twist ties. It's just so simple. They're really cheap and uh, they seal it rather well. So definitely traditional kettle corn. You gotta have, I think, as part of your repertoire and, and one of your main sellers. But we like to go with the variety of flavors and we change them up as we go. So let's talk about this one now, this apple pie kettle corn. Now you can see the bits of sour apple, right? And then you can see our snickerdoodle in there. We call that snickerdoodle. What that is is ground cinnamon and, and sugar, and it tastes like a snickerdoodle cookie. You could call it cinnamon toast crunch. It doesn't matter. We, we tried various names. Once we stuck with the snickerdoodle, just the name itself drove more sales than cinnamon roll or cinnamon toast crunch or whatever you wanted to name it. Now, what I really like about this combination, so you have your, your green apple here, right? Flossine is what we'll use for that. And then um, your snickerdoodle. And, sorry, there's a bug out here. And the, the play on this is the snickerdoodle acts as like the um, crust to a pie, right? And then uh, the apple acts like as like a filling. So when you're handing out samples, you want to give one apple if you can and a snickerdoodle with it and tell them that that this is our play on apple pie and you could do cherry pie peach pie whatever but apple pie 
it is just a great seller. So this is our apple pie kettle corn, again, in the eight by 30 bag. We retail it for 10, you can sell it for eight, you can sell it for 12, whatever. We just find it's a lot easier to sell it for 10 and we have no problems getting that price. Before I get to the other flavors, I got a membership group. We have a workshop coming up this Thursday. You don't want to miss it. We got a lot of things to talk about. It's over voice chat. You know, we got well, well over 100 members. And with lots of people in there discussing their business, I'll leave a link in the description. It's awesome. You definitely want to be a part of uh, the membership group. But yeah, apple pie, an 8x30 bag. Now, you could also just do the snickerdoodle by itself, and that's probably our second best seller um, out of all of our flavors, and the smell. When you cook that snickerdoodle and that cinnamon and sugar lofts in the air, people are definitely attracted to that. So we did the traditional. We did the apple pie. Now, this week we're going with red hot cinnamon. And uh, this is a, a really good one. You know, a lot of people know the red hot cinnamon. Uh, it's very popular. Uh, it's a great fall time thing. People here, I, I don't know, people have a Topsy's popcorn or whatever, you know, and they'll have the three bins of red hot cinnamon, the Chicago style, and then caramel, right? So the red hot cinnamon kettle corn is great. Now, the thing about red hot cinnamon in kettle corn versus something when you have a tumbler like the popcorn it doesn't coat it as well and you can see this in the kettle right like some of the pieces have a little coating some have a lot right but still it's kettle corn so it doesn't coat it like a tumbler would but still again red hot cinnamon kettle corn sells extremely well and it's in this 8x30 bag. Now, I will show you something. A problem that we have with the Red Hot Kettle Corn, we use a gold metal uh, cinnamon. Because of the sugar content, you can see this in here. There's some burnt pieces in there, right? And obviously, that's not good. That's not great. And these are the ones, even though you stir the pot, you still get some burnt up pieces unless you dump it prematurely, but then you're losing yield. So you're kind of stuck in between and there's people, I, I don't know how many are out there that actually like the burnt taste of the popcorn. I am not one of them, but yeah, so you can kind of see there's some areas in here where it caramelized a little too much and we got some burnt up pieces. now. We also have some snickerdoodle in here with it just by accident. Like a couple may have been left in the in the bin, you know, the um, where the old maids fall through, right? But still, I think it's a great product. It sells extremely well. Love the 8x30 bag. Love these flavors. And you can just mix and match. Oh, I forgot to mention this one. Blueberry pie with the apple pie is a great seller. If you do blueberry and then uh, do the uh, snickerdoodle with it, blueberry pie is wonderful. And then you can do pumpkin pie. Guys, it's, it's absolutely incredible. When you add the snickerdoodle to a flavor of a pie filling, just let your imagination run wild. I hope you enjoyed the content. Have a good one, everyone.